Hey everybody, today we are taking a look at a new product from Sony. This is the TAP20. It's actually a kind of Ultrabook hardware powered 20 inch touchscreen tablet all in one desktop. It's really kind of an interesting device. Uh, if you can see it sitting here, it's like I said, it's 20 inch. 10 point touchscreen device. Uh, the internals are basically the insides of what you would get in a kind of a modern high end Ivy Bridge based Ultrabook. You've got a Core i5 3317U processor, the same hardware that you'll find in the Intel NUC. Uh, this one came configured with 4 gigs of memory, a 750 gig standard 2.5 inch uh, spindle based hard drive. It has USB 3.0. Um, it's got uh, the, the resolution of the display is 1600 by 900, so not quite 1080p, but still still pretty good display actually all things considered um, it's it has a lot of interesting features right so it ships with a keyboard and a mouse we're not going to use that for any of our demonstrations so I'll just set that out to the side um, but if we walk around you'll notice that this device isn't actually plugged in it actually has a battery as well which is why we kind of called it a tablet a large tablet but a tablet nonetheless so if we switch over here I can show you that what we kind of have here is the profile. It's, it's fairly thin, not incredibly super thin. Um, the hardware is, is on the back. We'll show you that in a second. But what's interesting is this kind of what they call a multi-position stand. And it basically allows you to put the screen in any position that you want all the way down to laying flat on a table if you wanted to use it with multiple people or if you had it on your lap for um, browsing the web on the couch or something. You could definitely do all that. Uh, and then when you want to stand it up, that's all you do. It's actually a really smooth um, hinge system that they've got, and it's actually pretty impressive. Uh, you can see a little bit there. We'll show you the back as well. It comes in white or black, depending on your preference. Now let's look at what we have in terms of connectivity and that kind of stuff. So starting with the top over here, if we switch to the overhead, we've got your power button, your kind of sleep state button. You've got your volume rocker. You have a uh, rotation lock button. You've got your assist button. This is one of the microphones. Um, on this side over here is actually where your power connection goes, oop, where your power connection goes, and uh, there is a gigabit Ethernet port as well. We have some speakers on the top, speakers on the bottom. Um, on this corner, if I can get that in the shot correctly, there we go. We have uh, an SD memory card port here, two USB 3.0 ports, which is pretty nice. One of them that has charging capability for even when the system is off. Then you've got your microphone and headphone inputs as well. And let's see, for those of you who like to know what's inside this kind of thing, if we flip over to the back and I fold the hinge down, you will see the this plastic piece comes off pretty easy, no screws required for that. Um, you've got a, quite a few compartments. These two here are for just accessing the hinge. This one is for system memory, if you want to upgrade that. This one is for hard drive, which if you want to you know, upgrade your hard drive or install an SSD, you can do that. Nothing else is really addressable or upgradable on the TAP20, but that's not really the type of audience that uh, this system tends to go after. Oh, also, I guess I should point out, it has NFC. So whatever you want to do with NFC, you can do with this system as well. So we talked about it has a battery. Uh, total battery life is about an hour and 50 minutes, hour and 55 minutes, just doing our standard kind of web browsing benchmark that we do. Um, touchscreen has, is, works fine. Obviously it's got Windows 8 on it. It comes with Windows 8 or Windows 8 Pro. It works just like any touchscreen that you would you know, normally use. You've got your painting applications. It's supposed to be a very kid-friendly type of device. There's a lot of uh, things you can do here. No, I don't want to download a new version. It's obviously got wireless integrated, 802.11, BG, and N. Um, touchscreen has been fairly responsive. It just depends on what applications you, you want to use. So if we switch over here to this, to this camera here and give you a little bit better idea, you can see I can draw circles and uh, maybe make a smiley face out of it. So touchscreens, that's what they're made for. Um, but this, this is a, an ideal device for not just kids, but if you have a, a kitchen computer, if you have a computer that maybe sits on a, a coffee table in your room and that kind of stuff, it's, it's going to be pretty, pretty good for that. Performance is you know, in line with expectations. It's, it's a big device, but it doesn't necessarily perform like a big device. Benchmarks put it in line with the Intel NUC that we tested recently as well. And if you have an Ultrabook or you know what an Ultrabook performance is like, that's 
pretty much going to be in line with what you should expect here. We've run some 3D Mark benchmarks, we ran some CPU tests. They're decent, not outstanding, but again, for this type of device, I think they're, I think they're going to be reasonable. Don't expect to play a lot of games on it. Uh, it's using the Intel HD 4000 graphics, the mobility version of that. So again, set the expectations at the correct level. Battery life, an hour and 55 minutes. They rated it about two, so pretty close there. That's basically enough for you to take away from the coffee table, take in the kitchen while you're going to do some uh, cooking or something like that, or take into the garage if, you, if you're working on a project on your car and how to change the oil and you have documentation you can look up or videos you can look up and that kind of stuff. It's, it's definitely enough battery for that not to take with you on a road trip or anything. So um, pricing, this one came uh, at $999 and that's because it didn't have a base hard drive uh, and it has a slightly upgraded processor on it. There was a Core i3 option. You can get these as low as $879.99 um, from Sony. I think they're selling them at Best Buy and Staples and those kinds of things too. It's it, interesting machine. The, uh, the idea of the ta tablet slash all-in-one is definitely picking up steam. Um, I'm looking forward to kind of trying to integrate this one into uh, the kitchen, living room environment in my house and see what it's like long term. Uh, but if it's something you're interested in, you can pick the Sony Tap 20 up today. And be sure you check out PCPro.com for the full written review. We have some performance metrics, a lot more photos and that kind of stuff for you to check out. So thanks for guys for watching. I'm Ryan Trout.